Hi guys, thanks for watching. Welcome back to my channel and welcome to my first and my last car clean with me. This is not as much fun as the house videos. I realized that real quick. It is so much work. It was so hot, it was so humid, but it's done. So if you have a cleaning project you need to do that you really don't want to do, I hope I'm able to motivate you to get it done today. Uh, we're gonna go through the whole process, start to finish. I do have some help throughout the video. We'll get into all of that in just a second. If you enjoy this, please like it, please subscribe if you're new also check out the videos below none of my other videos are about cars spoiler alert and nothing in there is from home goods so that's one of the many reasons this is my first and my last car clean with me but i hope you enjoy it and let's get started we've had this conversation and you seem to agree with me when it's complicated the first thing we are doing is getting all of this excess out of here all the phone cords power cords bags sweatshirts there's jackets there's a ton of pens a couple of masks way more phone cords than anyone will need at one time so at least one of these I'm taking for myself I'm going through the center compartment now all of this is going on the tailgate So this is a Honda Ridgeline. It's my husband's car. It's basically, well, it's a truck, but it's basically an SUV on the front and then a truck on the back and it's a shorter style truck bed. So it's a really, really great family car. We love it. It's very comfortable. It's very roomy since it's technically an SUV on the front. And yeah, we've had it for around two years, I would say. I don't even know like the model or the year. I don't know that much about cars, but we like it. <laughs> so I'm using a leather and vinyl product that Chad bought at Home Goods. This is what he asked me to use and at first I thought I was doing him a huge favor by doing this and you guys will see in a few minutes that I wasn't. Well I wasn't doing as much of a favor as I thought but more about that in a few minutes. Now we are on to wiping down the seats and I wasn't sure if I should vacuum first. I kind of went like back and forth about it. I figured I should start at the top and work my way down so like the seats and then everything else the dashboard and then vacuum but there were of course some crumbs in the seat so I don't know I guess you guys can let me know what you think people who are into this kind of thing and do it a lot more than I do I'm very at least I consider myself very lucky that I don't have to clean the cars because I know that Chad enjoys it and the house videos are way way more fun for me to share with you guys but I have been asked for a car video for such a long time so I finally did it if you do want me to keep them up hit that like button the front seat is all wiped out now, so I'm on to the back seat. And while I was doing this, I felt like Chad was over my shoulder the whole time, like watching every product I'm using, where I'm using it. He wanted to make sure I was using what he wanted me to use. And I thought it was very funny because I know he loves his truck, but I didn't realize it was like this excessive. If you have somebody in your life who's the same way, let me know about it in the comments. I think it will be so funny to read through all of that. And as usual, I'm using a microfiber towel with a spray. I always am using microfiber towels in my house cleaning videos. I just feel like they last so much longer than other towels. They hold on to everything and I don't have to switch them out as frequently. They wash really well. I just buy them on Amazon. So they come in like pretty big packs, 10, 12, 15, 16, somewhere around there. And they're very inexpensive. So highly, highly recommend. All the products I'm using are fairly simple and generic. They all are for cars. They all are a few dollars it really isn't anything like super specific that's why I'm not shouting them out too too much and I'm wiping down the dashboard I wiped down the passenger side and now I'm on to the driver's side We have a few more things to take care of in the front and then we're going to move on to the back seat. That is where Forrest sits obviously, our baby, he's 10 months old and that is actually where I sit too almost all the time with him. It's so much easier being right next to him, being able to hand him everything he drops 500 times, feed him snacks if he needs them. All of you guys who are moms know exactly what I'm talking about. It's a little less stressful being right next to him and being able to take care of whatever I need to take care of. So yes, the front, I'm wiping down the doors now and then I'm going to wipe down the doors in the back and then we will get into the center area. Like a perfect melody. 
We're almost done wiping down the doors and wiping down the back seat right now. I'm going to the driver's side, wiping out all of the little compartments, and then I'm going to start with the vacuuming. First, I'm using a like plasticky attachment on the seats to get that in between all of the little like seams. And then we're going to vacuum all of the floor mats. And I'm using the Dyson for this. I love these vacuums so much because they do come with a lot of attachments. There's like five or six. And at first I was using a longer bristle for the mats and they weren't doing, it wasn't doing that well. And then I switched to a shorter bristle and it did extremely well. So just a little tip that I'm sure a lot of you already know who are always cleaning your car. I also wanted to mention we use WeatherTech floor mats in the back seat all the time since we have forest. And then in the front seat, we only really use those in the really messy season, like fall and winter when it's very snowy and slushy and it's always wet. So that way the regular floor mats that your car comes with don't get ruined. So you can see them right there. Actually, I think these are like an off brand on Amazon. They aren't as expensive as the real WeatherTech brand. So a very random tip that hopefully some of you guys find useful. If you guys are cleaning with me, let me know what you're working on. I can almost guarantee absolutely nobody is going to say their car because you're not used to seeing this kind of thing from me. So now we're on to the outside and this is when Chad insisted on helping. Um, well, helping is what he called it, but he really wanted to do it as you'll see. He was afraid I was going to scratch the outside. He said it has to get wet first and then you put the soap on and then you don't scrub it. You let the sponge work for you. So he was like, step by step trying to control the process and finally I just kind of like let him do it and film the rest of it um, so this was a funny experience like I said in the beginning I really thought like he was excited for me to do this and like I was doing a favor but I think it stressed him out more than anything He's all done on the front, so he's going to work his way around the car now. I would say we, but let's face it, I'm not in any of these clips. That's how Chad wanted it. He didn't say that, but I mean, I can take a hint, you know? The last thing that Chad is going to do after he finishes the side are the wheels. And then I will show you the after and what we like to keep inside on a regular basis. There's two things I wanted to ask you guys about too. First, if you want to share, let me know what kind of car you have in the comments. I think that'd be so interesting too, like seeing what everybody drives. And if you have a recommendation for a mom car, I'm looking to get a new car in, I don't know how long, like six months, one year, 
It depends on what's going on in the world and if we are even going anywhere. <laughs> so yeah, let me know. I'm looking at like tons of different SUVs. I always am changing my mind. And I don't know, I just like to plan things out ahead. I feel like you guys always have the best tips, the best recommendations, and the best ideas. So let me know what you think about that in the comments too. And here is the after everything is wiped down and fingerprint free, waiting for fingerprints that are inevitable, is what I really should be saying. Dash is all wiped down, free of dust, all the pens and the gift cards, all of those random items, phone cords are back in here and that's all wiped down. Here's the back seat where Forrest and I sit, so everything back here is wiped down too. I do keep a phone cord right there, it has like an outlet for a phone and my phone's always dead. So I like to make sure there's a second one for myself. I have a snack back here for Forrest, a teething ring or a small toy, something to play with. And then the last two things are pacifier wipes and a pacifier. Then lastly, for any of my moms, I recommend the mirrors that attach onto the headrest with straps. Technically, you aren't supposed to have anything, but I don't think that's very realistic, especially if you're alone. Um, we used to have the kind that suctions on the window, but that is definitely not a safe in a car accident that can like fly off. And this is pretty secured. It's like wrapped around the top and the sides, and that's from Amazon. So I'll make sure that's on my Amazon page. And that's everything for today's video. Please like it, please subscribe, check out the links below. None of my other videos have to do with cars. They are house cleaning, they're organization, they're mommy vlogs, decorating, a lot of fun house stuff. So thank you again for watching, and I will see you right here in a few days in a brand new video. Bye!